So today we're going to do a review on this Evapo Rust. Um, I happened upon this, I was doing a restore of an old 68 F100 and had some rusty parts as you would imagine that had been sitting in the woods for about 20 years and just needed a good easy way to get in there. Mainly I found it when I was doing the steering column. So as you can kind of see, you know, about 24 hours later, you can kind of see the line where it's been sitting in the solution compared to where it was before, pretty rusty. But overall, you know, it's got some odor to it, but it's not overpowering at all. It does a very good job. It's not, you know, an immediate solution. Like I said, it's taken about 12 to 24 hours for the rust to actually come off there and get down to the bare metal. The nice thing about the Vapo rust here though is, is mainly it's, you know, according to their MSDS, it's about 83% water. The rest of it is a salation agent, which basically means that it takes the iron oxide or rust that's on the surface of the metal here and actually pulls it off the steel and into the solution of the evapo rust, which is very nice because then it won't actually attack your steel that's underneath it. And so it could sit in there for, you know, a couple years and not, not have any issues at all because it's not going to attack just that iron. It's looking for that iron oxide to pull that into solution. So it's just gonna remove the rust. So a couple things you can see, like I said, it's water soluble, pH neutral, which means it's just a pH of about seven, which is the same as water. It means you can stick your hand in it, it's not gonna burn you, stuff like that. It is reusable. Many salation agents, you know, you can remove one gram of rust per gram of salation agent. So about five grams or so of this water solution because it is mostly water, so. It is diluted a little bit. It's biodegradable. They say right on the MSDS, you can pour it down the drain as long as it doesn't have too much rust particles in it. Non-toxic. They do make stuff you can, you know, drink if I guess you wanted to. I wouldn't recommend it. And non-corrosive, which means it's not gonna eat away the metal. So a couple of the advantages to this over like an acid-based rust removal or a sandblasting method are you know, it doesn't have any acid etching that you're going to see, whereas with the vinegar type solution, even though it is fairly safe, it's going to etch the metal if you leave it in there too long and allow it to re-rust a lot faster, whereas this solution won't allow the re-rusting process near as fast. With the sandblasting, that just takes a lot more time and a lot more effort than this does. Here, you just put it in the bucket and let it set. It removes the rust. Again, sandblasting only gets the rust on the surface. This will get in some of the nooks and crannies and actually remove the rust that way as well. So it is a very nice and useful process, you know, as an alternative to an acid-based rust removal. It is about $23 at O'Reilly's. Um, that's the only place I found it. I'm sure elsewhere, you know, Amazon and stuff, you can find it as well. But overall, I'm very, very happy with the performance of it. And I would suggest it to anyone that needs a solution to remove some rust. Thank you guys again for watching.